good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for coming to Ziggy's tonight. Uh, thank you so much. Yes, we just ask that you be nice and responsive and quiet this evening. That's right. That's all we can ask. We want to bring on the incomparable David Grisman Quintet.
Thank you. All right, this is... Thank you, we really appreciate that. It's really good to be here in North Carolina, boy. There's no place like it. I really like this place because everybody's on their own different level, you know? Most audiences are just like straight line. You know? What are we gonna take off now? Yeah. That was brought to you by Ross Perot. I don't know why that man is running for president. But he can afford to. Uh, we're going to do uh, the title tune for our upcoming album, which is the name of the tune and the name of the album, Dog Wood. Thank you very much. I'd like to do a tune that uh, was recorded by the original guitarist in this group, Tony Rice. You... And uh, Tony was go shortly after Tony, uh, Tony joined my band, he, he was going to make an album, and he asked me if I had any tunes 
that he could record. So I showed him this tune, and he liked it pretty good. So uh, I said, well, you can record it. And he told me he was going to call the album Rattlesnake, which I thought was a pretty cool title. So I named this tune Rattlesnake. I figure I get the title tune. The album then came out, it said Tony Rice.
You know, uh, this next piece I recorded on a record called Quintet 80, back around 1980, and unhappily it's no longer available. But I started my own CD label a couple of years ago, and I decided I'm just going to re-record all this stuff that all those big companies put out of print, so. <laughs> I think I play them better now anyway. So this one is called Dogmatism.
Thank you. I, I'd like to introduce the members of the quintet. They work very hard. They play very hard. <laughs> uh, they all play stringed instruments, and perhaps the most unique string instrument of all is the flute. I mean, most people don't realize it's a string instrument. It consists of one kind of very large, hollowed-out string. With little little string capos on it. So I'd like to introduce the world's premier dog flute player from Richmond, California, Matt Eckel. Next in line with the little bass fiddle. I mean the big bass fiddle, the upright bass, the acoustic bass, dog veteran of eight years at least, been with me through thin. <laughs> From Benicia, California, James Kerwin. Next man in line is usually wearing the most colorful outfit in the band. And he's probably the most colorful musician. He plays all this stuff and more. Not only does he play the violin, but he plays the violin case. And I, he is the first fiddle player to play the fiddle case in Carnegie Hall. On mandolin, percussion, and violin from Winters, California, Joe Craven. <laughs> Have you heard today's, the result of today's polls? The latest polls, the guitar is no longer the most popular in, instrument in America. The mandolin is, of course, yeah. But I still like to keep a guitar player around, you know, because some people like it, you know, <laughs> including me. A wonderful guitar player from Davis, California, Mr. Rick Montgomery. <laughs> you wouldn't have to like bluegrass music, would you? Well, we don't have a banjo picker here, but we got two mandolin pickers, so we're going to play a tune that I wrote to play at the Telluride Bluegrass Festival, Telluride, Colorado, and the tune, in fact, is called Telluride, so we're going to sort of like a dueling mandolin kind of thing here.
Thank you. We'd like to play a tune that I recorded last year with my my friend. Uh, he's, uh, what's his name? He plays guitar in a group. In San Francisco. Garcia, that's right. Jerry Garcia. This is a tune that we wrote together. Sort of incorporates our both of our styles of music, the dead style and the dog style. We're going to call on Rick Montgomery to play Jerry's part, which he learned personally from Jerry. Grateful dog. Thank you. We'd like to do a tune, another another one of those out of print major label tunes. This one I wrote for one of my one of my all time heroes, the great Stefan Grappelli. 
who was kind enough to record the original version with me. Hmm, seems to be a little tuning going on here. We care enough to tune. In any case, we'd like to do this tune called Steppin' with Steppin'. I'd like to feature Joe and Rick on a little improv introduction.
How many of you voting for Bush? I'm, I'm voting for Bush. Sam Bush.
We're going to do a piece of music that a good friend of mine, Andy Statman, wrote. He comes from Flatbush in Brooklyn. This is called The Flatbush Waltz.
Thank you very much. We, we've got some CDs with us. Uh, for tax purposes, we need to we need to get rid of them. You know, we want to be able to pay income tax. You know, we've got uh, oh, my whole my whole label's worth of CDs. There are about six of them. They're all acoustic music, and I'd like to play uh, a, a sample from one of them. That's the music of one of my heroes, a mandolin player named Jacob Do Bandolin, who who is the greatest mandolinist from Brazil. He's sort of like the Bill Monroe of Brazil. And he, he uh, helped to pioneer a style of music called Choro music, which is fantastic music. If you want to hear the original recordings of it, pick up this CD. We're going to do our version of one of Jacob's compositions called Asan Hiado. <laughs>
Okay, we're going to get mellow here. Play one of my favorite melodies written by the great John Coltrane. Naima. Well, thank you so much for coming out to hear us tonight. Remember, sign art, we've got a mailing list somewhere. I don't know where all that stuff must be back there somewhere. And uh, CDs, we'll try to sign them for you. We're going to be at the Black Mountain... 
I guess it's a bluegrass but music festival tomorrow. If you still want to hear more, if you got some friends there, I think that's near Asheville. So we'll play this tune that I've been playing for almost 20 years now. We got a new version of it coming out. It's called Dog's Rag.
You didn't have to do that. We were going to come back anyway. I'd like to call on my friend Joe Craven. To... He's played everything, every instrument he's got except himself. Well, we're just going to show you what this guy can do without any instrument. Y'all like jazz? You know, I used to live in Charlotte years ago, and uh, I moved out to the West Coast, and uh, something happened to me when, out th when I went out there. I, I discovered jazz. Jazz, man. Jazz, that's right. So uh, we're going we're gonna to tell you a little bit about it.
and running and running up.
Well, we, we, we thought we'd do something really weird for you right now. I bet you didn't know these guys could sing, did you? I'd like to do one of my favorite songs. I'd like to dedicate this to Woody and Mia. It's really a song for the whole family. Many, many years ago when I was 23, I was married to a widder who was pretty as could be. This widder had a grown up daughter, had the hair of red. My father fell in love with her and soon the two were wed. This made my dad my son-in-law and changed my very life. My daughter was my mother cause she was my father's wife. To complicate the matter, even though it brought me joy, I soon became the father of a bouncing baby boy. This little baby boy then became the brother-in-law to dad, and so became my uncle, though it made me very sad. For if he was my uncle, that also made him brother to the widder's grown up daughter, who of course was my stepmother. I'm my own grandpa. I know, but it really is so. I'm my own grandpa. Now, if his mom and mother then I'm her grandchild and every time I think of it it nearly drives my wild for now I have become the strangest case you ever saw as husband of my grandmother I am my own grandpa I'm my own grandpa it sounds funny I know but it really Speaking of me, on the behalf of the entire DGQ, Matt Eckel on the flute, Jim Kerwin on the bass, Joe Craven on the case, Brother Rick Montgomery on the guitar.